What is going on, everyone? Welcome to today's video. My name is Mike, also known as Modded ATS. Today, we're going to be taking a look at what graphics I have running here on this profile. This is not going to be a tutorial. This is just going to be an overlook here on some of the graphics that I run and how I get my game to look the way it does. I will go in-depth a little bit, but on some certain things, if you guys would like to see a more in-depth video like on Snowy Moon or the NVIDIA control panel by itself, please let me know down in the comment section. Today, we're going to go over my settings here that I have right now in order to get my game to look the way it does. And well, I mean, listen, go grab a drink and buckle up because it's going to be a big one. Right, guys so here we are kind of flexing outside of the bakersfield peterbilt here with the container trailer that's a stock scs trailer by the way guys with the jasper wheel pack but today we're going to go over some of the graphics mods and the settings that i'm running here to get my game to look the way it does if you guys are new here make sure to hit that subscribe button we are on the big road to 15,000 hammers here in the hammerhead community we do appreciate each and every single one of you if you guys do like the video make sure to give it a good old thumbs up and uh well let's just jump right into it guys so first things first uh let's go here to my mod manager now this profile you guys have probably not seen yet not sure if we display this on the twitch side yet when this video does come out but this is the mother load profile okay this has everything every mod that i own is going to go into this profile it's still a work in progress i'm still adding mods into it I have mods downloading right now from uh, some older sites that I used to have. Um, so, or older mods that I used to have from the sites that I had them on, like, you know, CT, uh, Colton Thompson's Kenworth W900, haven't used it in months, it's going in the profile. A few Z mod sounds, haven't used it in months, it's going in the profile. Um, the K100, haven't used it forever on the Steam Workshop, it's in the profile. Um, I'm literally just putting everything that I personally own into this profile to see if I can't just make the mother of all profiles. However, though, this profile is, of course, going to be maxing out my graphics as all my other profiles. So there is no difference on that side. So we're going to go into it and show you guys what we're rocking with here. So I'm going to head over to the launch pad here, go to the mod manager, show you the first step here. OK, so here, 138, still growing. I know some of you guys will be like, I've got like 400 mods. That's fantastic. I'm not that crazy, but who knows? Very well in the future, I might get that way. Head over to the Mod Manager. We're going to slow on down, and we're going to go down to our graphics side of things, which is going to be right here. Boom. So I am running JBX3, 149, as you see all the 149, 149s, 149s, in correlation with Project Next Gen. So these, I don't know if they're going to work 100% for you guys, right? I don't know if they're gonna be 100% to work to a T, and that's what I want you guys to realize here in this video too, right? Just because it works for me, it might not work for you. So you might have to kind of play with a little bit, do a little bit of R&R &R and see if you can't get it to tweak to your specific computer setup. Again, this is not gonna be kind of like a support video or technical support video. It's kind of just an overlook on what I'm running and kind of give you like a little bit of an insight and for you to open up those wings and try on your own. And then, you know, perhaps in the future, like I said, if you guys want to see a little bit more in depth, I do use Snowy Moon. I will show you my settings on that. But if you want to see more in depth on how to install Snowy Moon and all that, we'll go with that into another video. Because quite honestly, those are videos in itself because of how long they do take to get them to tweak exactly where you want them. Now, JBX3, Project Next Gen. Some guys say it works, some guys say it don't, some do, dee dee, ba dee, ba da. For me, it works. This is the order I have it in uh, nine, and then PNG, PNG, and then eight, six, five, zero, zero. Uh, that is going to be the basic, right? That is going to be our skyboxes and all that. And that's the other thing, too, is SCS absolutely killed it on their weather and skyboxes here in the 149 update. On the bottom right hand side, you did see 149.28. We are on the newest version of the game, completely maxed out. Second thing that we're going to go double check real quick is going to be in our physical settings here under our options tab. Look how the game takes a minute to load in because it's like, oh my God. So we're going to go to the options tab, go to graphics. Now I run 2K. 
Uh, you guys might only run 1080, maybe you run 4K, maybe you do run 2K. Now, in a previous video, you guys did see that I used to use NVIDIA Profile Inspector. I no longer use NVIDIA Profile Inspector. However, I still, as you guys saw the video earlier on how to lock your frames, we're always locked. 60 FPS for the 59 Hertz here, right? Always have that. We'll have a link to that video down in the description below in case you need to go back there and uh, remember how to do that or whatnot, or maybe your game updated or whatnot and it's changed. Now, scaling is at 300% anti-aliasing. I could probably turn this off because of Snowy Moon, but I have it on Ultra at the moment. High on that. These I have off currently. I kind of play with this a little bit. Uh, JBX technically and PNG should do stuff with color correction and depth of field and all that, but here's the big dogs. Reflection scaling is custom and so is shadow quality. Now, if you guys run JBX, your shadow quality should be custom already because in the JBX settings, they tell you that you need to change your shadow texture um, from, I think it's like 4,096 to 8,096. I'll show you guys what that looks like in the config, but you need to make sure you do so. Now, the reflection scaling, a lot of you guys out there go, man, look at that chrome. And I'm like, yeah, I know that chrome does get me home. There is a way to get your chrome a little shinier. I will show you a little bit of a sneaker. Nah, nah, little sneaky, 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 little sneaky, she grip on how to do that. However, though, keep in mind, <laughs> it will lag your computer. Um, this is all going to be basically, you know, use at your own risk because if you don't have a computer that can handle it, you will lag. You're going to have to, like I said, dabble every now and then with it, but we'll go here into the config and I'll show you that. We'll actually do that right now. All right, Let's guys, so here we are at the desktop. In order to find your config, very simple. My Documents, American Truck Simulator. Scroll down and you'll find your config folder or config file. Um, I recommend using uh, Notepad++. If you guys go back way back to our how to fly video on how to uh, enable the developer console and um what is that other one um just enable the console right just so we can fly around an american truck simulator i'll put a link down there shows you guys how to access that with the notepad plus 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 of course i'll put a link down for notepad plus plus down there in the bottom i prefer notepad plus plus this way i know definitely something is saved and changed in the config so we are going to open that up and you're going to get something that looks like this guys so First things first, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hit your left control and the F key, and you're gonna wanna have this little window pop up. It's gonna be the find, right? Now, I'm gonna type, the first thing you're gonna wanna do, I'm gonna type in buffer, and we're gonna hit find next, and you're gonna see, where is it? Buffer, page size, where are you? Here you are, buffer, page size. I'm gonna have it on the screen as well. Yours is at 10 if you've never touched this before. Put it on 30. I don't care if you don't run any mods, put it on 30. 30 should be your baseline there. You can't go any higher than 30. The game doesn't recognize it, but 30 is where you want to be. In a nutshell, it's basically allowing you to access more memory. It allocates a lot more. 10 is a very big restriction. When you start also adding big mods, JBX, Roland, Pisters, Rudas, these require a lot more, um, let's just keep going with it, a lot more memory, right? A lot more, you know, uh, and you need to give it that. Uh. So the buffer page size is going to be 10. It's, it's, it's hurt. You got to help it out a little bit, bring it up to that 30. Definitely will help you out. And it's required a lot of times by most modders nowadays. That's the first things first. That's not even graphics related. That's called, let's just make my game run. Okay. Let's go graphics now. Now, you remember you saw the reflection scaling, right? So we're going to type in reflect on here and we're gonna find where is it here it is g nope that ain't it where are you g reflection g underscore reflection now i'm gonna have this on the screen too for you guys to see it in case you can't see the highlighted number there however though you guys i think are at one if you guys want to bump this up <laughs> make sure you've got the power to do so because once you start bumping this number around, that's where you're gonna start seeing some real heavy hitters on your PC. This is what gives you the shiny Chrome. Everybody sees my Chrome and they're like, dang, how did your game look that way? Boom, baby, the reflection. I'm upping the reflection in the game, but it does put a lot of stress on your computer if you don't have a computer to be able to handle that. Definitely recommend at least a 2060, 2080 series graphics card when you start bumping up that. Two is really good. I know a lot of hammers out there use two. One is stock. 
Three, you kind of seeing a little bit of that lag drop. You know what I mean? You don't want to, you want to be able to enjoy the game, right? You don't want to be walking around the game like this. You, you don't want to be stuttering around it. You want to be able to go smoothly with it. So just because it might look good, be good for yourself, right? Also, <laughs> mind you, I am not responsible for anybody breaking their computers or breaking the wallet if they want to go out and go buy some bigger PC parts. Just but put it out there and of course now uh, i just want to show you guys since we're in here the shadow oh not shadow 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 nope shadow there it is we're gonna find the shadow texture size right here guys i have mine at 8096 like i said that is required by jbx um you guys should have seen that already in the settings if you guys do have jbx but i do have that there as well now, when you leave here, guys, as always, as always, when you make changes, make sure you go up here to that blue little disc and you will hit save. If you feel like you haven't done it once or twice, do it a couple times. Control S is also saved. Make sure you save this file here and then you're going to close out of it. And we're going to jump right back here into American Truck Simulator because we're not quite done yet. All right. So now we're back here in American Truck Simulator. And if you've done that properly, when you go to your graphics side, you will notice that your reflection scaling is custom. Now, if you left it at one, it's not gonna change. I don't even know what this, I think this gives you percentages. Yeah, right. Make sure you keep it at custom. If you're gonna keep it custom, if it's one, it's gonna be whatever it is. That's what that one is. The shadow quality is now higher than the ultra, which is 4096. So now you're at the 8,000 mark. So that is gonna be that there. Uh, going back here into the game, I do run Snowy Moon. Snowy Moon is an anti-aliasing program that smooths out edges, that makes your game look a little bit smoother and helps you out there with some of that sharpness going around. You can see the mountainside over there. If I hit the home key, that's gonna bring up the Snowy Moon. I use the Balanced Reversion 2, the big preset. I also use DLSS since I have higher than a 2080 graphics card. Now, as you see here, it does say that the required Resolution is 25 to 50%. I run it at 300%. You might not be able to do that. Um, I'm really pushing the limits with that. Everything is obviously on, but I'll show you guys a difference here. You see these mountains up here? I'm gonna turn this off. Notice how it gets a little bit more, not cartoony, but more flat-like to it. Well, if we go over here and we go back to balanced, it'll clean it up a little bit. Now you could go crazy and do performance, and that really will shoot some lag down. You'll see my lag will drop. My, well, my FPS here at the top corner will actually start dropping. But I prefer the balance or the quality. Uh, sharpness, I usually put it at like 8 or 9 or 10. But what that does is basically cleans up some of the buildings, the edging, and all of that kind of fun stuff. And like I said, I mean, it is free. I can make a whole video on how to download it and install it if you guys want to see that. Um, it's very simple to use. I do not use reshade do not use reshade. Um, I just use the snowy moon and the graphics mods there and a little bit of tweaks and my settings. And that is how we get the chrome reflections. It's a little early in the morning here, but uh, let me see if I can't uh, change the time here for you guys. Give you a little bit of a brighter day. Yeah, look at that. Boom, baby. That is how you guys get that chrome. That'll bring you home, baby. Chrome that'll bring you home. So hopefully, guys, this will give you guys a little inside look on how you can change your profile up a little bit. Like I said, I don't want to be responsible if your computer does detonate or explode. Uh, be on the lookout, too, because this profile is going to get a video on itself on all my mods. Uh, it's going to be pretty much like one of those end-of-the-year bangers. It's going to be every single mod that I own in one profile to see if we can't destroy it. But this is also the build and drive profile. Uh, so all the modders out there, if you guys are looking to create something new, hopefully we can get one of your mods here in this profile and check it on out on the live streams and on the content side here too. But any questions, comments, concerns, guys, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, like I said too, this video was just designed to show you what I'm using and what my settings are. If you guys need a little bit more technical support, let me know. I could try to make another video going more in depth, especially on Snowy Moon. I know a lot of questions of Snowy Moon have arose. Very, very easy to install. But like I said, that's going to be a video in itself if you guys so choose so. So definitely let me know what you guys think. I appreciate each and every single one of y'all. Hopefully you guys make your game look a little smoother, a little cooler. As always, guys, we'll catch you on the flip. Keep the hammer down and keep it cool on the stool. And don't blow up the PC. It's not my fault.